So pound for pound, the best health, home, and beauty fragrance products, you need to go to ashkicking.com. We're here. Now let's try this. Now walk up to me from here. From there. Okay. Uh, do the same thing? And do the same thing. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Just enjoying the beautiful view out here in Bangkok, Thailand right now. Had a real good time out here guys. I love this country. Can't wait to come back. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about some boxing news. So now the rumors are that Canelo Alvarez and Golden Boy they offered Danny Jacobs a fight. I already told you guys this a couple days ago, or about a week ago or so. Uh, Eddie Hearn, he's confirmed that Golden Boy, they actually did offer Danny Jacobs a fight. But the rumors are they're offering him 20%. Obviously, out of an 80-20 split. Now, Golovkin, he only got 30% of the pie when he fought against Canelo Alvarez. So if you really think about it, that's not that bad of a split for Danny Jacobs, considering the fact that Canelo, he may have a bigger buzz than Danny Jacob. Now, Eddie Hearn, he just recently said that they gave us an offer and it's not what we were looking for. I really hope Jacobs takes this fight. Hopefully, you know, they get a little bit of a higher percentage, but even if they have to take the 20%, I hope they take it because... This is a good look for Danny Jacobs. If Danny Jacobs can get uh, Canelo Alvarez in a ring, he better take it. He better take it. You know, because um, that's going to catapult his career. If Danny Jacobs goes in there and he beats Canelo Alvarez, that catapults his career. If Canelo Alvarez goes in there and he beats Danny Jacobs, that solidifies him. That makes Canelo the truth. Okay? For you to be able to do something to Danny Jacobs that Golovkin couldn't do, that obviously would make Canelo look really good. In fact, it would kind of make up for the controversy of the Canelo versus Golovkin first fight. So that would be a good look. To me, that would really, really put Golovkin in a bad spot. Because if Canelo fights Danny Jacobs, that forces Gennady Golovkin to either face his mandatory Jamal Charlo or give up a second belt. Because you guys know he just gave up his IBF belt so he didn't have to fight, so he wouldn't have to fight Sergey Derenyevchenko, his mandatory for that belt, right? So if Canelo Alvarez doesn't take the Golovkin fight, that leaves Golovkin twisting in the wind. Because I can assure you, if Golovkin doesn't get the Canelo Alvarez fight, the WBC has already told Golovkin that if you don't fight Canelo, you're going to have to fight the WBC mandatory Jamal Charlo. They also told Jamal Charlo that he will be next in line after the Canelo fight. So if Golovkin doesn't fight Canelo, he really has nowhere to go but towards your boy Jamal Charlo. There's no way he can justify fi fighting anyone else. And now I know he can, now he could possibly try to fight Billy Joe Saunders, but according to Golovkin's uh, trainer, Abel Sanchez, Abel just recently said, we've given up on Billy Joe Saunders. He said Saunders is going to try to outprice himself, so there's no reason to even consider that fight. Those are, those are two very difficult fights for Golovkin anyway, though. Billy Joe Saunders versus Golovkin, uh, or I should say Golovkin versus Saunders, Golovkin versus Charlo. Those are both two very difficult fights for Gennady Golovkin. So I really hope uh, Canelo versus Danny Jacobs comes to fruition, but I know it's highly unlikely. Uh, Golovkin, Team Golovkin, they would be a fool to uh, pass up on that Canelo Alvarez rematch. Let's see what happens. That's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.